Hello friends, welcome to Global Online University. Friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about PhD entrance test of JMI University and also AMU University. And friends, as you all know, in PhD entrance test, there will be two papers. Paper one paper is related to our research aptitude, and second one is related to our subject. And the, there will be hundred questions. 50 questions are related to research aptitude uh, sorry research methodology so in the, uh, so for your jamia milia islamia university and aligarh muslim university phd entrance test we have come up with full pledged crash course on research aptitude in this crash course you will get notes on research methodology and also you are going to get full syllabus mock test for your upcoming phd entrance test and also we are providing video lectures that is also only at rupees 4.99 it is very minimum fees and i believe if you follow this material uh, you will succeed in the phd entrance test if you want to join you can contact this number so in this video we are going to discuss some important mcqs on research methodology and here the subtopic is types of research yes let us move to the questions here the first question is newton's discovery of the law of gravity belongs to option a fundamental research option b applied research option c action research option d quantitative research newton's discovery of the law of gravity that is that belongs to option a fundamental research yes please remember it newton's discovery of law of gravity is related to fundamental research so let us see what do you mean by fundamental research fundamental research it is very formal and systematic and the main aim of the fundamental research is to develop a theory yes in fundamental research we are going to develop a theory or print or a model and this fundamental research utilizes a careful sample so that its conclusion can be generalized beyond the immediate situation and it results in general knowledge and understanding of nature and its laws yes in, in fundamental research we are going to build a theory or we are going to build a model and we are going to understand the model and hence one can conclude that newton's discovery of the law of gravity it is a model so it is no it, it is belong it belong to fundamental research yes let us move to the next question uh, control group condition is applied in option a survey research option b historical research option c experimental research option d descriptive research yes control group condition it is going to apply in experimental research so here option c is the right answer Yes, experimental research means it, it is a study that strictly adheres to scientific research design. Yes, this experimental research is related to scientific research design and this includes this experimental research. It includes hypothesis, a variable that can be manipulated by the researcher and also those variables which can be measured or which can be calculated. So let us move to the next question. A researcher intends to explore the result of possible factors for the organization of effective midday meal interventions. Which research method will be most appropriate for this study? Yes, one type one research. It, the main aim of the research is to explore the result of possible factors for the organization of effective midday meal intervention. Then which type of method the researcher is going to follow it. option a descriptive survey method option b historical method option c ex post facto method option d experimental method yes here the right answer is option c ex post facto method yes here the researcher will use ex post facto method to uh, find answer to, to find the effective midday meal intervention Yes, mainly the ex post facto method, the existing groups with qualities are com compared on same dependent variable and it is also known as the quasi-experimental, please remember it, experimental research is known as the quasi-experimental and it is for the fact that instead of randomly assigning the subject, they are grouped on the basis of particular characteristics. Yes, this is about ex post facto method. The next question is. Uh, independent variable and dependent variable are variables of which method available to communication researcher option a historical research option b experimental method option c survey method option d content analysis method independent variable and dependent variable 
or variables of which method available to communications researcher here the right answer is option b experimental method is the right answer please remember it and experimental research it is a research conducted with scientific approach please remember this experimental research is conducted with scientific approach we are using two sets of variable yes the first one is constant variables which can which you can use to measure the difference of the second set as qualitative uh, quantitative research methods for for example are experimental then the next question is the main difference between longitudinal and cross sectional researches in terms of option a frequency of data collection option b primary versus secondary option c the qualification of researcher option d none of the above the main difference between longitudinal research and cross sectional research are on the basis of frequency of data collection so please remember it option a frequency of data collection is the correct answer yes we are uh, let us see what do you mean by cross sectional and longitudinal studies cross sectional studies interview a fresh sample of each people each time yes here the researcher is going to choose fresh sample but in uh, longi in longitudinal studies the researcher is going to choose same sample over a period of time yes for in cross sectional studies the researcher will choose different samples for different studies uh, and uh, in longitudinal research the researcher is going to choose the same sample for over a period of time yes here are some other differences are there cross sectional studies done over a single point in time longitudinal over a long period of time and cross sectional studies different subjects longitudinal studies same research subject will be being followed then in cross sectional studies changes recorded at societal level and and in longitudinal studies individual changes are recorded here then uh, cross sectional studies cannot precisely confirm a cause and effect relationship longitudinal research can precisely link cause and effect relationship these are the some important differences between cross sectional studies and longitudinal studies the next question is which research paradigm based on the pragmatic view of reality option a quantitative research option b qualitative research option c mixed research option d none of the above yes the research paradigm which is based on the pragmatic view of reality is mixed type of research so please remember option c mixed research is the correct answer then mixed research means uh, it is more suitable methodology as compared to another research paradigm because of the investigators use the qualitative paradigm for one stage and also quantitative paradigm for the another stage so this type of research is known as the mixed research where the researcher is going to use both quantitative and qualitative paradigm Yes. The next question is the researcher that applies the laws at the time of field study to draw more and more clear ideas about the problem is option A applied research, option B action research, option C experimental research, option D none of the above. Yes, here the right answer is option A applied research. Applied means uh, here the research is going to apply the laws. He is going to apply the principles at the time of the field study. Yes, the research that applies the laws at the time of field study to draw more and more clear ideas is known as the applied research. And applied research is designed to answer specific questions aimed at solving the problems. The next question is Jean Piaget gave a theory of cognitive development of humans on the basis of option a evaluation research option b fundamental research option c applied research option d action research yes jean piaget's theory was based on fundamental research yes what do you mean by fundamental research fundamental research it is also known as the academic research and it is theoretical works mainly performed by to obtain new knowledge as yes, fundamental research is carried out to obtain the new knowledge on the basis of observable phenomena the next question is what does the longitudinal research approach actually deal with long term research short term research horizontal research none of the above as yes, name suggests longitudinal research it means it is a long term research this type of research is carried out over a long period of time 
yes in general longitudinal approach it is a long term research in which the researcher researchers keep on examining similar individuals to detect if any change has occurred over a while he will take the takes the same problem he will take the same sample and is going to do research over a period of long time then the next question is the conclusions or findings of which type of research cannot be generalized to other situations option a causal comparative research option b historical research option c descriptive research option d experimental research yes here the right answer is already given historical research historical research means it is a qualitative technique historical research studies the meaning of past events yes please remember it in historical research we are going to study based on the past events then the next question is the researcher attempts to evaluate the effect of method of feeding and on anxiety proneness of children the researcher attempts to evaluate the effect of method of feeding on anxiety proneness of children which method of research would be appropriate for this ex post facto research survey method case study method or experimental method this question is for you you have to comment the answer in the comment box this will help me to judge your preparation level so please comment the answer in the comment box as yes, i wish all the best to all thank you